is unless you fast katika siku hii ya pili ya kutoa mapendekezo kwa kamati ya bunge ya kilimo na ufugaji imekuwa ni zamu kwa wanasayansi na watafiti wa uzalishaji wa vyakula kutoka vyuo vikuu vya humu nchini thank you very much wote hawa kutoka kwa vyuo vikuu vya Nairobi, Igaton, Jomo Kenyatta na Eldoret wamekuwa na kauli moja. Vyakula vya GMO havina madhara yoyote kwa afya binadamu na mabadiliko ya msimbojeni ya mimea hayaadhiri msimbojeni yani DNA ya binadamu. The farmer should not be worried about an intentional and infrequent gene flow because he will just die with that particular crop. There are no reports that when you grow a GMO here the snakes in the environment will be destroyed there is no scientific report um, to that effect ombilao kwa sasa ni kuwa iwapo serikali itafanya uamuzi wa kuruhusu kilimo cha GMO nao wapewe nafasi ya kuzalisha mbegu za mimea hiyo humu nchini we are training people in agriculture um, and i think it would be good if they are encouraged to come back hata hivyo wanashikilia msimamo kuwa tatizo la utashi wa chakula nchini halisuluhishwi na GMO. Shirika linalohusika na kutoa habari kwa watumiaji linashikilia kuwa iwapo vyakula vya GMO vitaruhusiwa basi kuwe na sheria mwafaka ambazo zitawaruhusu watumiaji watakaoathirika kuwapeleka waliozalisha chakula hicho mahakamani ili kupata haki. Consumers have right to redress if anything happens to anybody then he can go to court freely he can uh, claim for compensation and that is provided for Vikao hivi vitakamilika kesho kabla ya kamati kuandaa ripoti itakayowasilishwa bungeni David Kagina K24